Hello Helpful Program here and in this tutorial I'm going to be teaching you how to use animated sprites. Let's go ahead and teach you what animated sprites is and what Dark GDK does. Dark GDK makes it very easy to make animated sprites as it uses one image and then cuts it into equal sections of your choice. So this can be used to make a run cycle or a walk cycle. The first image we, we normally use for it still so when it's just standing still and then all the ones after that will use for its walk cycle, jump cycle and everything like that let's go and learn the code we're not going to be using db load image and db sprite anymore we're going to be using db create animated sprite which loads, loads an image just like db load image then cuts it into equal sections of your choice puts a load ID on it and a sprite ID which we're going to be used for db sprite it will then use that sprite ID and that load ID to place it anywhere on the screen the only drawback with dark gdk is you have to use one db create animated sprite with each db sprite unlike you can make you can load up an image and then make as many sprites as you want from it you can only make one sprite for every db create animated sprite Let's go ahead and create a animated sprite. Let's make one for our box, the box that we move around the screen. Let's make it change colour when we walk, so we want to make two equal sized boxes, one for stationary and one for walking. We know that our image is 100 pixels across and 100 pixels down, so let's go and change it to 200 pixels across and 100 pixels down. So this will create two pi pictures when we split it up, one and two. Let's make it so when it walks it will be green. Let's go ahead and save it. Going back into our Visual C++, let's go to setup.h and where it has a load, instead of box, let's just delete that and then go db create animated sprite. open parentheses and let's give it the ID that we're going to use for our box so too comma and then like in load ID specify what the name is so box.bmp close speech marks and do a comma next is the width and the height this isn't the width and the height of the box it's how many frames there are so the width would be how many frames there are in the width so there's two frames along so we can put 2 there and in height there is no height because there's only one height so just put 1 do a comma and then the image ID or the load ID let's give it 2 because that was our old one do a semicolon and let's put animated box because that's what it is now what we have done there we've just loaded our box into the game and split it into two pictures frame 1 and frame 2 now let's go and make it so if we move left or right it will move left and right and change the colour so in the if statement for left we're going to use this code db set sprite frame and we're using the idea of 2 and let's set it to frame 2 because if we go back to our 1 there's two frames 1 and 2 we're going to be using one for the stationary and two for walking. Close a parentheses and do a semicolon. In the comments, let's just do change to green or change to walking, whatever you want. And for the right, we're going to use a different code since that just sets the frame. Now we want to make it cycle through the frames. For this, we're going to use db play sprite and we use the ID that we're using so 2 comma and then the frame that we're starting and the frame that we're finishing so we're going to start at frame 1 and end at frame 2 and the delay so we want to give it a hundred delay close parentheses and do a semicolon so it'll cycle through if we're pressing the right key now let's create an if statement to see if left key and the right key is not pressed so if open parentheses and the code I've taught you can work the other way as well so db right key equals false 
and so two and db left key is false so zero close parentheses and open close brace in here so if they aren't pressed we want to make the stationary frame which is one so I use the id which is two and the frame which is one here let's write stationary now let's go and run it and see what happens now let's run you can see that we can move left and right and we can jump you can see that if we are pressing the left key it goes green and when we don't press the left key it just goes back to orange and if we go right it will run through the frames 1 and 2 now let's go and shoot something hope you've enjoyed this tutorial and I hope you've learnt a lot bye